In this activity, what we have is we have a series of arrangements where things are in static equilibrium, so they're not moving. So the net force on these is zero. So at station two here, we have a one kilogram mass attached to a single string, and we are looking at what is the force diagram on this particular object. Now in this exercise, we're going to ignore the mass of the string, ignore the mass of this little circle. And attached to that are two separate strings going down to this point. Over here at station six, we have 600 grams. A 500 gram mass here, 100 gram mass attached. Attached to this object, again, we're going to ignore the mass of both the string and the object. So we're looking at the free body diagram on this particular object and this string comes at an angle, this string is going to be assumed to be parallel to the ground. So in this case, the angle for this can be found by using a ruler to come up with the measurements, and the measurements are that the string goes down 25 centimeters in the up and down direction and over 11 to get to the center of this object. Station three. Here we have a string attached to a 100 gram mass with the second string attached to a 200 gram mass. And in this case, we're looking at the free body diagram for the bottom mass as well as this mass. Over here we have a ramp. And so in this problem, we have a 200 gram mass here attached to a string going through a pulley and then coming over here to our object. So our object that we would like the free body diagram for in this case is this particular object. This is 70 gram cart with a 1 kilogram mass inside. The angle for the ramp can be found using the measurements. In this case we move up until we get to approximately 100 centimeters so the hypotenuse of this ramp is 100 centimeters. The height from here to here is 23 centimeters. So from those two measurements, the angle can be found here, and the rest of these things can be analyzed. This is station four. Over here is station five. And in this one, we have a 500 gram mass hanging from two wires. The assumption here is that both wires are equivalent in length and angle. And to find the angle, once again it was measured down and across. In this particular case it was determined that it was 27 centimeters down, 11 centimeters over to the center. And again our object here is this ring which we are going to ignore the mass of. And then our last object is over here. This is object one, which is a cart full of masses. So in here we have a thousand grams and then two 500 gram masses, so a total of two kilograms. The cart itself is an additional 70 grams. And then we have a string attached to this, which comes over the pulley and connects down to a 200 gram mass here. And so those are our six objects. The assignment is to figure out the free body diagrams for each and actually determine what each force is, what the tension in each string is, what the weights are for each situation, what the friction forces are, normal forces, and anything else.